Hi, hello my friends. It's Christy with 4 Young Junk Journals and today is Wednesday and that means it is time to work on the case 2023. Um, as I said in my announcement video, uh, this first week is all about making your case book. Um, I do recommend a loose binding um, so don't stitch any signatures in and you want two to three signatures with six to eight pages in each You do not need to start out with all two to three signatures. You can start with one um, Because you'll be able to add and subtract as we go. That's the purpose of the loose binding, right? Now I will tell you a couple of things happened I made a journal um, well, I made the cover and everything um, and got to the point of stitching and signatures um, on camera and recorded the whole thing. When I went to stitch in, or not stitch in, but when I went to put the signatures in, it did not work. Uh, the, the journal was too small. The signatures would not fit. It wasn't working. Um, so I scratched that. Well, when I was making a replacement, I was in class on Zoom. So I couldn't be making a recording while I was in class on Zoom. I could work on the journal. I just had to do so silently. So what I'm going to do is show you what I made. Um, and kind of, you know, just kind of walk you through what I did. I hope that's okay with you guys. Um, but it's very simple. There's not anything difficult about it or anything that you really need to see. Um, so just one second. Okay, so as I was saying, um, it's a very simple journal. Um, so I'm just going to show you and kind of walk you through what I did. Um, I hope that's all right. Um, moving forward, of course, I'll do a full video each week. But for this first one, I hope you understand because um, it really wasn't anything I could help. Um, and so here we go. Just one second. So here is my case book. Let me make sure that we're totally in frame because it's a biggie. Okay, that should be good. Now, um, this was a uh, like a binder. Um, it was kind of like one of the cookbook binders. It was kind of something like this except it was for like designer stuff. So it was like, you know, furniture and decorating and stuff. So it was decorating stuff. That's what I was trying to think of. Um, it was called Better Homes and Gardens Decorating Book. And it was a binder. Um, and so what I did was I had this paper from, what is this paper from? Graphic 45, um, this master detective paper or whatever. I've had it forever and had just been hoarding it because I loved it so much. So I used um, part of that. I did the cover. And then on the back side, I used more of it. Um, I had some scrap leather. So I did the uh, spine in leather. And what I did was I just cut a piece and used my Fabri-Tac and glued it down. I used the Fabri-Tac on the cover pages as well because it was adhering to kind of a slick, smooth, uh, almost plasticky surface. So that's what I did. Um, and then I ran some washi down the sides to kind of give it a nice edge here and also to, you know, keep it from being like rough. So that's the cover. Oh, and I inked everything using um, frayed burlap from Tim Holtz. Or I'm sorry, yeah, Tim Holtz's Ranger, right? Anyway, I used I used the frayed burlap distress oxide. <laughs> um, okay, and then on the inside, it had this piece of plastic, and these are five rings, okay, and it had this piece of plastic, but the holes had um, broken, and I wanted to keep the plastic in there, so I just ran some washi over it and repunched the holes. And it doesn't look great, but my whole thing is this is a detective's case book. This shouldn't be perfect, right? Um, 
there's a little bit of you know aging here and there and things like that and I'm, I'm good with that because it's a detective's case book and it shouldn't be perfect so then I took the um, I kept all the pages out of the out of the original book and I've taken some of the divider pages and covered them to make the cover to each of my first three signatures and so that's what these are and this is more paper from that graphic 45 pack and so I just covered it then I put in I went ahead and put in 10 pages because you know if you had folded them in half and done eight pages it would have given you eight pages 16 sides 32 writing spaces or whatever um, whereas this is only going to give me uh, 10 pages front and back gives me 20 sides so as opposed to 32 writing spaces I only have 20 using the 10 pages instead of 8 I don't know did that make sense I hope so um, so I did go ahead and use 10 pages even though I said 6 to 8 I used 10 um, and I will you know decorate those as we go um, I painted that one I've got a couple of others that I've done some work to that aren't dry yet um, but overall I haven't done anything really with those and, and I will decorate these as we get information on the case you know because I want it to match the information I'm getting so I, I'm not going to really do a whole lot with those right now and then this will be the second signature now my idea is and I may add in more than the 10 pages because my idea is this is my first case this is my second case right this is my third case at which point I figure this book will be full and I'll need to probably start a new detective book uh, it just depends on how much information we get and how much I use of this of the pages okay and then in the back this was in the original book it's just a little um, divider so that I can put that you know where I'm at in the in the book and um, it will help mark my place Plus, if I have to punch holes for anything, I can use that for that. But like, so for this first week, or well, next week on Wednesday, I will be working on this first page. So I'll just put this right here, and that marks my spot. And I could even do this if I wanted to, where it was a little higher up, but I don't. So... So that's what I did for my uh, detective book. I'm anxious to see what you have done. Um, again, I hope that this is okay with you that I did it this way. Um, I'm really super happy with the way the book looks. I think it's very pretty. Um, this video wound up, you know, much shorter than my intention. Like I said, I had done a full video, um, but yeah. This is my book. I'm ready to go. I hope you guys are ready to go. I'm super excited. Um, and we are going to have fun and make some art. So next week on Wednesday, um, hopefully in the afternoon, it might have to be in the evening just because of work and school, but hopefully next week in the afternoon, um, on Wednesday, you will get your first, um, you'll get the murder announced and your first suspect. Um, it will definitely happen Wednesday. The time of day is a little bit sketchy. My goal is noon. My goal is to have it ready to go up at noon. Okay. If you haven't already joined us and you want to join us, um, just drop a message down below or over in my announcement video and um, I will add you to the list. And then if you leave a link of where you uh, uploaded either a flip through of your casebook or um, or the making of your casebook either one I'll link that as well we want to be sure and share with everyone and encourage participation as much as possible we want as many people to join in and help us solve the murder as we can um, so yeah so thank you so much for watching I hope that you enjoyed it I hope you found it useful or at the very least entertaining I hope that you crafted along well maybe <laughs> and I hope that you come back and visit with me again very soon if you like what you saw today, give me a big thumbs up. If you'd like to see more from this channel, hit that subscribe button. And if you click the little bell, it will notify you every time I upload a new video. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you're crafting. Drop me a picture of your casebook, and I'll talk with all of you again soon. Bye.